welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be another craft fair vlog. I am about to leave right now. I'm on my way to the Baldwin Park Community Market and this is a first Friday's market. So they only have one of these a month. They have it on the first Friday of the month, obviously. Um, and it's in a little area of Orlando called Baldwin Park and it's kind of like in the downtown area. I've done this many times and they've been very like hit or miss. Um, I think sometimes it really depends on where I'm situated. For the first couple markets, I was in front of the cigar bar, which was not a pleasant experience. But the last time I did a market like this, I was in front of the like tumbling gym, like the kids gymnasium, and it was way better. So I'm glad that I'm going to be over there again. So that's gonna be where I'm set up. It is a night market and I've not done a night market in quite a while. So I do have my lights. So the lights are really, really cute, but they do add kind of another layer of difficulty in setting up just because, because of how cute they are and because they're like net lights that cover the entire top. I have to take the top of my tent off and then string them so it definitely adds a layer of difficulty so i'm really glad that my setup window is pretty early the actual market starts at 5 30 and right now it's like 2 50. um so that's a lot of time but i am being pulled away around like 5 5 i think to be interviewed for their website and social media so i'm a little bit nervous about that hopefully i don't get too hot and sweaty i probably should have brought my fan i might actually text ethan to bring me my fan out here but I am really excited I hope it goes good I think I'm gonna set my goal at I'm gonna say $300 because I think it's like 50 to do it um, it's four hours it's 530 to 930 so hopefully it goes good I'm excited to use my new keychain display that's right here beside me so I'll show you that when I set up and I got a cute new dress from Amazon that I think looks really really cute so let's just go ahead and get over there and start to set up <music>
so as you could probably tell my setup was a little bit off compared to normal because of where I was they asked me to leave a space at the front of my tent for people to walk through and they just told me I couldn't block the walkway so in reality I didn't actually have like a 10 by 10 space which was a little bit frustrating I had to pull my racks back so I chose to set it up in such a way where people would be guided to look at the racks from the outside of the tent instead of the inside of the tent if that makes sense but here were my new bags and the acrylic displays and I thought they looked really good and I didn't mind the setup it was just a little bit different It's actually six o'clock right now, but they've been playing um, reggae music because it's reggae night and I didn't really have a good time to go ahead and talk, but I wish I had more keychains made because this is looking a little bit bare, but it's cute. I definitely am not like 100% into where I am located because of where I am. It's kind of like that's the main area and then you kind of got a snake back here to get to where I am. So I'm not like super thrilled about that. Um, the person beside me also, she set up to where like her back is like the other way, but it's supposed to be that your back is towards the street, so like she's also kind of blocking traffic coming this way. So it's like a whole thing, but at least the weather's good. Um, Ethan came by with the boys to bring me some of the Ethan bags because I didn't have any of those, but I'm hoping tonight goes good. You know, my goal is $300, so that is less than $100 an hour, but so far in the past 30 minutes, we've not made anything, so. That's not a super good start. I was supposed to be interviewed at like 4.50 and they never came by. So I don't really know what the deal with that is. So yeah, so I'll check in. I guess in 30 minutes if I've made any sales. Yeah, so I'll check in when I can. 6.30 check in and we're at a big whopping zero dollars. So not super great. It's getting a little bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's been a couple people that have come in and talked to me, but not a ton of traffic. Um, hopefully that picks up tonight, obviously, but we have three more hours, so I'll set you up and kind of show you what the traffic is looking like, but it's not looking too crazy, so. Um. Definitely, whew, I was kind of concerned that I wasn't gonna make my booth be back or make any money at all. So I'm really happy about that. So we're at 139 and we've got two more hours. So I definitely think we can meet our goal. So it's definitely starting to get a little bit more bumping than it was. There are a lot of people down there where the music is. So I'm gonna put you up in the corner and see what we can see.
Friday. So I did not do my final check-in last night. Around 8.30, the market organizer came up to me and told me that they were going to be ready for my interview in about 10 minutes. So I completely just thought that they had forgotten about it because 4.50 is when it was scheduled to be originally. So I like had completely just like disregarded it and didn't think about it anymore. And I got really nervous and was kind of like, a little bit worried because I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I feel like after a certain time, like after eight o'clock, my brain, I feel like if I was being interviewed, I would not be able to answer very good. Um, so I was a little bit nervous, but I did the interview. If it's already edited and on their website, I'll like put a screen recording or something, or if not, I'll just link it whenever it's available. If it's not super cringe, if it's a little cringe, I might, I might not share it with the world, but I thought I did a pretty good job, but it actually wasn't like an interview where he asked me questions. It was more of like, they had a teleprompter with prompts that was just like, what's my name? What's my business name? How long have I been in operation? And then kind of like my specialty. And I tried not to like drone on. So I probably was a little bit more short and to the point than I probably should have been in terms of like what my business specialty was. Cause I did like two practice rounds and in my practice rounds, I really droned on and I was like, I think I'm taking too much time. So when they actually did my recording round, I just like was straight to the point. I don't know how else to describe it, but it was really funny. I like did it and thought I did a really, really good job. And he was like, Oh, like, do, do you want to run that again? And I was like, no, I think, I think we got it. Um, so if that's available and ready to watch, I'll do the screen recording or I'll post the link down below. But overall, the market was okay. I ended up making around 289 and a majority of that kind of came, not a majority, but I sold a hat and a pullover like literally while I was packing up. So it was okay. I feel like where I was was kind of like an offshoot. Like I've never seen vendors like that close to the road on that side. Like last time there's like a little fence barricade thing so it's like it's like road walkway and then like a higher up walkway with like a little fence and I've never seen people in between the fence and the road it's always been on the other side so I don't know if like they were just trying to like put a lot of vendors out there so that's why they utilize that but it's not really part of like the main walkway so I don't know if that inhibited me because there were a ton of people walking on the main thoroughfare, not really like on the side streets. Like you'd have to like come around this like one like tree. And that tree led to a bunch of near misses last night. There were a bunch of people that were tripping over the curb right there. So I felt really bad about that. But overall, I mean like I was really close to my goal of 300. So I'm really happy about that. But it was definitely there were definitely a lot of people there for the reggae night, like a ton of people, but it didn't seem like there were that many people there who were like wanting to like actually like shop. So yeah, that is how it went. And that's probably where I'm going to end this studio, not studio vlog, this craft fair vlog. It's probably we're gonna end it here. We are probably gonna get into fun stuff this weekend just because we have Saturday and Sunday available. Probably this afternoon. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do because it's kind of not cold, but it's chillier here. So I think Volcano Bay might be out of the out of the question um so we might just go to universal because our disney passes are still blocked out so we might do that and tomorrow i'm not sure what we're gonna do but we also may not go because i think nc state is playing in the final four tonight at like five or six so we may not do that i'm not really quite sure but I'll let you know what we do and obviously I'll include it after this and something that I need to do next week for sure is I think I'm going to go ahead and start ordering some more t-shirts to be screen printed because I'm, I'm like completely out of sizes for the Manatee fan club and obviously next week I'm going to try to do more keychains and I wanted to do fabric bookmarks. I thought that'd be a cute idea and I think this week also me and Ethan are going to be getting into a little DIY project so maybe tonight I might be going to Lowe's to get some stuff for that but yeah so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes small business content and craft fair vlogs and if you want to see what we get into this weekend just keep on watching but if not I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye
Phosphorescent 